Okay, so in this video, we'll be talking about multiplication and division of fractions. So we'll be um, going to discuss how we're going to multiply and divide uh, fractions. Okay, so we'll go first to the multiplication of fractions. Okay. So we'll go first to the multiplication. Okay, so to multiply two fractions together, so to multiply, let's just write first the process. Multiply two fractions together. Okay, so we have multiplication of fractions, so the process is to multiply two fractions together. The numerator are first multiplied to give a single number and this become the and this becomes the new numerator. Then the same goes the same process will be repeated for the denominators of the given fractions which will be multiplied. Okay, so let's have an example. So for example, we have 3, 9 times 5 over 4. So using the process, we have, we first multiply the, um, the numerator. So that will be 3 times 5 over the denominator, 9 times 4. So this will be 3 times 5, that will be 15. 9 times 4, that is... 36 if we are going to the uh, we are going to uh, convert this one to lowest term so we will divide um, the numerator and the and denominator by 3 so we have 15 divided by 3 over 30 um, will be 30 6 divided by 3 so this will be 15 divided by 3 that will be 5 over 12 and this is now your answer okay so let's have some more example we will now have um let's just have now a a mixed form or a mixed number so 1 over 3 fifth times 2 and 1 third times 3 and 3 over 7 so we need to find the product of this um, of these three mixed numbers multiplied together okay so first we will convert this given into in, improper fractions so how to do that we'll just um, multiply 5 by the whole number here then the, the, quotient, the product of the 2 we will add by 3 so we have 5 times 1 that will be 5 plus 3 that will be 8 so 8 
then just copy the denominator times 3 plus uh, 3 times 2 that will be 6 plus 1 that will be 7 over 3 then we have 7 times 3 that will be 21 plus 3 that will be 24 so times 24 over 7 now we will multiply each of them so we have 8 times 7 so the numerator first times 24 over 5 times 3 times 7 okay so you're gonna using our high tech calculator so let's just call upon first our calculator Okay, so we have now our calculator so we have 8 times 7 times 24 so you will have so you will have 1344 over so we have 5 times 3 times 7 so that will be over 105 okay now we will convert our answer into mixed form or to mixed number so we just Divide the numerator by the denominator. So let's just have the solution here. So we have 1,344 divided by 105. So this will be 1, 105. So this will be 29, 294. Then we will have, let's have here as 2. So, 284 divided by 105 is, is 2. This will be 210. And we'll end up with 80. So, this will be equal to 84. Okay? So, our answer now will become 105 over... Over... Oh, uh, no. 205 by 12. Uh, 12 over 84 so this this is the your numerator here will be your remainder over 105 so I believe you could um, we, we could find a way to uh, find a way to reduce this one Okay, so let's divide both sides by 81. So let's divide the numerator and the denominator by 81. So we have 12, 84 divided by 21 over 105 divided by 21. So we'll end up with 12 and 4 fifth. So this will be your answer. So but we could have a shorter solution for this one. So we will go back to this part. Let's just copy this part here and okay, put it on blue to have, a, to have a distinction so this will be 8 times 7 times 24 over 5 times 3 times 7 so in this part we'll use the cancellation so 7 and 7 are the same so that that will be equal will just be cancelled out now if you divide 24 by 3 so 24 divided by 3 so this will be 8 so this will just be equal to 1 so you will now end up with 8 times 8 over 5 or you have 64 over 5 so the question is if 64 over 5 equal to 12 and 4 feet so you convert this one into 
mixed form. So you have 64 divided by the 5, so this would be 1, 1, so you, uh, no, 5, so you have 14, 2, 10, so your remainder is 4, your quotient is 12, and your divisor is 5, so your mix, equivalent mix number for this one is 12 from the quotient, the numerator will be the remainder 4, and the denominator will be this divisor 5, and they are the same answer. So it, it is much easier to first cancel if you have um, a number that could be cancelled. So a number could be cancelled if that number could be divided with the number in the with the with those numbers in the denominator like like seven. So you have a seven here. You could divide seven by seven, and your answer is a whole number which is equal to one. So you could cancel out this one. Your twenty-four could be divided by three, which is three is in the denominator. So twenty-four divided by three that will be eight. So you put your eight on the numerator and your three and your and three here will just be equal to one but not eight divided by five because if you divide eight by five you have a remainder or the quotient is not a whole number okay so let's add more examples maybe one example or we'll end up this video on the multiplication of fractions okay so we have another mixed number here so we have 3 and 1 fifth times 1 2 third times 2 and 3 fourth so let's go directly to the solution so first we will convert the 1 into mixed form so this will be 5 times 3 that will be 15 plus 1 16 so we have 16 over 5 times 3 times 1 that will be 3 plus 2 that will be 5 5 3 2 times 4 that will be 8 plus 3 11 so that times 11 over 4 so we will now multiply our numerator and denominator so we have 16 times 5 times 11 over 5 times 3 times 4 so let's just use the cancellation method so this one we could cancel 5 divided by 5 so will be equal to 1 you could have also 16 divided by 4 so this is now 1 and this is now equal to 4 so your new uh, simplified term will be 4 this will be 1 so times 1 times 11 over so this will be 1 1 times 3 times 1 okay so you have 4 times 1 that is 4 times 11 you have 44 over 3 okay then you will convert this one into a mixed number so you will just divide 44 by 3 so this will be 1 3 this will be 1 14 that will be 2 2 uh, no 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 not 2 but 4 so you have 12 2 so you will end up with 14 and your uh, your remainder is 2 and your denominator is 3 so 14 and 2 third and that will be your answer okay so in the next part of the video will be talking how to divide so thank you for watching this video and as always have a good day.